At this time, we're going to take a look at the book of Psalms. If you can stand on your feet as we do this, which is customary. The book of Psalms. As is customary, we'll stand to our feet and we will read God's word. Amen? Amen. Uh, we'll be looking at the 34th chapter, going into Psalms 34, rather. And we will go from verses 1 through 8. Amen. Once again, that's Psalms 34, verses 1 through 8. <clears throat> and I will begin our scriptural reading at this time. The Bible says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul will make its boast in the Lord. The humble will hear it and rejoice. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all of my fears. They looked at him and were radiant, and their faces will never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps round about him and who fear him and rescues them. Oh, taste and see. Yeah. That the Lord is good. How blessed is the man who takes refuge at, in him. Just want to speak to you this morning with the subject title, Praise is What I Do. Yeah. All right. Praise is what I do. What I do. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord this morning. As we look at this particular text, we know or should take note that the Psalms is a collection of songs of praise and theological instructions and statements that were written poetically for the time period of that day. In the Psalms, the Psalms were written similar to what we know today as how musical artists write their songs. And the songs, the songs are simply a collection of songs that they would sing on their journey as they praise God on the way to the sanctuary as well as in the sanctuary. The same way today, rap artists would hook up with a beat maker and they would hop on some type of digital device, maybe Fruity Loops. And as they hop on this device, they begin to put the beats together and they start off with the tremble. Then as the tremble is being put together, they begin to also work the bass. And as the bass is being placed together, they begin to work all the different sounds and maybe add some bells and maybe speed the beat up and then bring the back beat back and then maybe through the process of putting together the beat everybody's just kind of moving to the rhythm as rap artist is putting together his lyrics and he's looking at his cell phone device and he's spitting as they say in the urban community what's flowing from his heart yes. and as he expresses what flows from his thought life and the pattern of his heart he begins to speak about the struggle of his life and he begins about speak about the experiences that he sees in the streets and the different tragedies he's experienced. He begins to speak about some of the love that he may feel towards an individual. And when he's through with the track, he drops it and says, now put that on wax. And then once they put it on wax, which simply means they bring it all together. And now they're putting it together so that it can be placed on an album or a CD. And then on the CD cover, he's got his name, his face, 
and whatever his thought pattern was, so it was with the Psalms. This is literature and poetry as they would express the hardships of that day, the struggles of those moments. And the Psalms teach us how we can express our thought to God, the way we can talk to God, tell him how we feel, tell him about our disappointments in life, the things that went well, and the things that went crazy, the times where God stepped in and saw us through. It's the Psalms where the Psalm writers would just express how good God was, and they would put it on wax, and then come up with a beat, and then once the beat is placed, throw it out there, and then they say, now let's sing this thing together. Oh, great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. Yes. All that I needed, your hand has provided. Yes. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. I wish I had a witness up in here today mm -hmm. who know God has been great and God has been yes. faithful. Mm -hmm. And we can't help but to sing his praises when we come together. And this is why the psalmist expresses from the text that I will bless the Lord at all times. He, he puts it on wax. He says, praise is what I do because the Hebrew for blessed means I'm going to praise the Lord. Right. I'm going to give him the glory while I still live. Right. The, word, the word blessed means to speak well of God. It means, you know what, when I think about God, I can't help but to talk about his goodness and talk about how merciful he has been in my life. It's speaking well of him. It's the one that somebody said, man, you just gotta, you gotta put your trust in God. I know you're struggling, but liquor not gonna help you with this. And well. sex ain't gonna get you through. Once you get, once you get your fill on, you're gonna have the same problem when it's over. That's, that's not gonna help you. It's, it's the fact that the song artist is saying, listen, put your trust in God in everything. You're going to have some hardships. You're going to have some disappointments. You're going to be afraid sometimes. Yeah. But the artist is saying, in spite of all that, you need to praise him in advance. He's saying, you need to bless God at all times. On, Somebody man. shout at all times. At all times. That means when the bills are due and you don't know how you're going to pay it. He yes. says, bless the Lord. Can I tell you why he's telling you to bless him in advance? Because the song artist is trying to teach you how to be a mature Christian. Because too many of us, being immature, when we go through hardship, we don't bless the Lord, we complain to him. And the psalmist is not saying there's nothing wrong with letting out your frustration and your complaint from time to time. He's not saying that. But what he's saying is because God has seen you through over and over again and over and over again and over yes. and over again. Yes. Every time you thought you was going to drown in your despair and in your trials and trouble, didn't he see you through? Turn to your neighbor and say, I'm still here. I'm still here. Come on, life is trying to take you out. For some of you, cancer has tried to take you out. For others, disease has tried to take yes, you out. For yes, others, yes. enemies have now. tried to take Come you out. Now. For others, people on your job yes, have tried yes, to take yes, you yes. out. And for us, but if somebody else in here, you can say people in church might have even tried to Make take you play. out. Yes. By scandalizing your name yes. and doing things to you that are unchristian and ungodly. Like, Come, on Come on and be honest. Somebody in a relationship tried to take you out. Right. Somebody who said they loved you but broke your heart, mistreated you, and did you wrong, Jesus. and tried to drag you through the mud. You know it's true up in here. Yeah. You've had relationships where people have done you wrong. And if you can't shout over that, sometimes the problem is you was the one doing somebody else wrong. Well, but you ought to be no. glad that God is giving you another chance. Yeah. Turn to your neighbor and say, he's the God of another chance. Yeah. And since I got another chance, I'm Come ready on. to Bless the Lord yes. at all times. Come on now. His Make it praise yes. shall continually be in my mouth. Yes. Turn to your neighbor and say, I don't know about you, but I'm going to praise him right now. This praise, praise right is now. in yes. my mouth. And this is in my mouth. Yes. Praise is to yes. be seen. Yes. And praise yes. is 